Well, hello everybody, my name is Wayne Jordan, and everybody's had a lot of serious topics about debt and judges and $29,000, what's going on over $29,000, but I'm just going to be talking about cars going around in circles. So, <laughs> I'm actually reading an article titled, For Good or Bad, Pack Racing is Back at Daytona. On February 18th, there was the Budweiser shootout at Daytona International Speedway, and there were several car crashes because, you know, when you go around making a bunch of left turns, that's all cars do is slide and crash. And what ended up happening was Kevin Harvick, Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch, and Jeff Gordon ended up wrecking out during the race. Now, the, it all started when Jeff Gordon kept bumping Kyle Busch, and he bumped Kyle Busch, but Kyle Busch saved his car, and then Jeff Gordon flipped over and over and mm -hmm. over, and his car basically was like a balled up piece of paper. But Drivers are actually excited about it because they said it's better than tandem drafting, and it's actually called pack racing. And they feel as though, <clears throat> excuse me, they feel as though in pack racing, they decide their own fate. The cars drive together versus the two car tandem drafting, where it's just two cars pushing one another. And what NASCAR actually did was they lowered the cooling part on the car, so cars are actually, the teams were actually concerned about water pressure. But the teams were excited because they felt as though. You know, this is actual racing. And the Budweiser show it was interesting because it started out with a nine car wreck, and there was a six car wreck, and then there was the final eight car pileup near the end of the race. So lots of crashing when you just drive around a left circle. I don't, I don't understand. But every accident on Saturday was caused by drivers pushing too hard on the left rear end of another car. But the only people that can solve that are the drivers that are actually behind the wheel. And the cooling system that I was talking about was that they wanted to minimize tandem drafting, and the teams were concerned a lot about water pressure because what actually ended up happening at the Daytona 500 on Sunday was that, well actually it happened on Monday, it was postponed, but what happened on Sunday, Monday, was that the, um, a couple of cars started overheating and had engine failure. But there was a rush at the Budweiser shootout, there was a rush on Saturday with Nationwide, and there was a big rush at Daytona 500. So whether you like it or not, pack racing is back in NASCAR. Thank you. Nice work.